Hey everybody, welcome back. Episode 2 of uh, the Chill Build stream. Today we're going to be doing a track that's based around cornering. Uh, I'm going to try to do as many different types of corners as I can possibly think of. I'm sure you will see some that you've never done or thought of before. Um, and we'll see how she goes. Hopefully we have a wicked track by then. Let's get started. I think I'm gonna go ahead and plant her right here for beginners. I was thinking about staying in this room for it. Um, we're also gonna do a circuit. Um, that's mostly because with weird corners like this, I don't want people to only take them once. I want them to take them more than once throughout the map so that they become accustomed to them and uh, they have a chance to decide whether or not they like the map. Um, that is the drawback with courses, is the fact that they only get one shot and they decide whether they like it or not right away. Well, let's get going. So as per usual, start straight away to start us off. And I think we'll just start with a high ender hook to begin her off. So let's get a bit of an incline here. And I am going to go ahead and do a big half side sweep here with a bit of lean. Uh, this is right bumper left if you haven't seen that. Um, I should mention, uh, if you don't know how I'm doing any of this, feel free to refer to the controls video on my channel. Uh, I have an in-depth tutorial on all the different controls. Uh, it'll definitely help you if you don't understand what I'm doing. So let's keep going. Alright, so that's a nice big underhanded turn here, and let's try to get it right underneath. Making sure that's nice and level. Alrighty. That looks pretty good. I actually think I'm going to do a fan turn here. Just to help people coming through the end of this corner. Um, we lose gravity about midway through that turn. So I think that wall is going to be wanting to take them. That seems slightly off center. So I just snapped the ground there to level up my track. Uh, let's have a look here. That feels good. I think we weave back through that. So let's come up with another high G turn here. I think I'm going to pull this one all the way up and over. Yeah, this may need some boost pads or zip strips to help you out, but we should be fine. Let's go ahead and get that nice and flat. Fortunately, there's no other way to do this when we're this high other than just to eyeball it. I like to stick my camera right on the front. It's pretty close, not quite, but. Yeah, it looks better. Let's have a test. Let's pick something nice and tippy. That'll be El Camino. A little bit of a bump there and there. Or oh, they don't feel too bad. Definitely think I'm gonna add some interactives to this. Don't know if we'll be able to smooth those out. Maybe if we use central and linear. We'll have to use it all the way through, I think, though. So I'm just changing the roll off set and the transform controls. Let's have a quick peek at that. Well, it definitely fixed the back end. I don't know. I don't think it did much here. I think I'm fine with that. All right. 
<clears throat> so here, um, we're gonna be high speed, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a text section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a little tight vertical hairpin here. And then from that hairpin, I think, let's get her level, firstly. Let's just do a nice tight hook here. I'm actually gonna give people a little more time to see what's coming. I don't want them to be blindsided by that turn. But that's a good rule of thumb when you're building these is you have to think about what people are gonna see as you're building. So for example, right here, uh, this corner here. So if I were to have them come up this hairpin and come down, they would hit they're looking at the ground as they're coming down, and if the turn was immediately after, they would not have any time to react. They'd just straight into the turn, and that would require a lot of track knowledge. So what I've done is I've created a little straight to give them a view of this turn before they have to commit to it. And let's go ahead, and I'm gonna show you a technique. This definitely should be used sparingly, what I'm about to do. But it's a nifty little technique I discovered the other day. So what we do is we extend out our track and then we use our left bumper and right to bring the track in from uh, not the tip but the middle point. And then we just start backing it off. And this is going to start doing some weird things. But over time what it actually will do here is it'll give us a bizarrely sharp turn. Um, so you can see it actually clips through the wall. We get it so sharp. And sometimes that's okay. I mean, depending on what you're going for, but I'm actually just gonna smooth that out a touch. Not totally, but I do not necessarily want that tip sticking out. There, and that should be about as tight as we can get it. Let's just go ahead and straighten him out. And let's have a feel. Feels really nice. That's okay. I'm gonna have to rework that. We'll see. A bit tight there. Uh, that feels good. That feels good too. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna add a mag strip here to give them a visual reference for the turn tightness and the angle they should take it at. You should definitely take that close inside. Um, and as far as this goes, I'm actually even just gonna make this a touch longer. We'll see how that feels. That might feel weird, we'll see. And let's go ahead and down our checkpoint here because we've got enough pieces even though we're not leaving the track at all. We'll go back this way now. Let's do a classic undercut here. So let's just start this with a vertical. Um, I'm gonna go to mag track for this because the geometry is gonna be quite sharp. We're actually just gonna smooth that in there. Well, I might actually just So that's what I mean when I say an undercut turn. Typically when the track is flat, they will you can curve them underneath. And in our case, we could if we messed with the geometry bit. I think we'll just do it this way for now though. And then we can go ahead and straighten him out. Let's do something a little funky here. Let's go ahead and see if 
if we got enough room for this. I'm sure that won't be too bad. Oh, there's a bit of a kink there. Is that affecting the track? Hard to tell. Hmm, a little bit. That looks better. All right, um, so I think we have enough space to do this this way. But definitely something to keep in mind is you may sometimes for things like this, if you don't have enough space, you may need to do some maneuvering and come take the invisible track back on itself. Maybe that's if I just show you. What I mean is you could do this where we go away from the track and then we come back up and underneath of it rather than attempting to line it up straight off. And then since we already have it built, I might, I'm gonna do it other way, but yeah, so sometimes if you don't have enough space, you, you may have to do that, and that's fine. I think we'll be okay, though, here. I don't know if we can get this quite low enough. So that was just, I was just using the turn to do that. I don't know, it's strange, it's sometimes allows you to maneuver these trucks up and down. 